Hi and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to make a, a set length command. So basically, it can change the language of your bot. So um, we're gonna use this npm package because um, it's free and it's pretty reliable. First thing you wanna do is you wanna install the package itself. So just open terminal and just paste this in. Okay, I already installed it. And make sure if you already installed this, make sure it's at the latest version. Um, as you can see, your mine is on the latest version. Make sure it's at the latest version. So the idea that we're gonna do is, rather than creating like tons of JSON objects, like um, you wanna create um, English will be something, and then um, French will be something. It's very troublesome uh, to do this like for every single one of the commands. So rather than doing that, we can just straight away translate it with an API. So I'll be showing you guys what I mean right now. Just go to index.js. Um, you want to require the package. So um, I think I already required it. Wait, let me find it. Okay. So you just got to do this. const translate equal require. And then the package name is the same with this. You can just copy it, just put it in here. Const translate equals this one. And then just scroll down until, okay. You can just do it right here. Just do client.translate. Of course you can name this anything. I'm just gonna name this translate for now. And then async, and then um, text and message. So we'll be using an arrow function. Um, and then const lang equals await db dot has uh, lang message dot build dot id just copy this and then question mark await db dot get lang message dot build id or else it will be English. So just keep in mind that we're using a uh, recon DB on this setup. Um, if you haven't set it up, feel free to set it up. I already made a tutorial on it. I might link it down in the description. Um, feel free to check it out. Okay. So once it's get the language, we're gonna translate it. So const translate it. Just await translate text and then from English to and then to lang. Okay. Now we're gonna return the translated text. Translated uh, text. Just we're gonna return this. Okay. So now we're gonna make a command to set set it all up. Um. Just go to commands. Um. Go to tools. Or any one of the folders you want. I'm just gonna name this set lang. Js. So I'm just gonna use the basic setup. Okay, you don't need the parameters. Okay, you can just remove this. I'm just gonna remove it because we don't need it. So don't get confused if you see those. Um, set length um, message. Okay, so first you're gonna define length. So const length equals rx zero. Okay. Oh, before that, we need to check permissions. So if we just gonna let um, administrator people to use this command, as permission administrator return. So you're just gonna return you. Um, the member doesn't have administrator permissions. So if there's no language, message dot reply, please. Specify a message and then await db to set. So we need to define db also. On db equals require dot dot slash dot dot slash recon db. Okay, await db dot set lang message build the ID and then comma lang. Okay. 
then um, message channel dot send language has been set to and then plus lang. so you tell you which language you have set to so in order to use this language command um, let me just find a command that we can use it on um, there's not much commands let's just see um, okay that doesn't work okay we'll just do it in ping.js um, let me see what I can translate over here okay I can translate message edit ping so let's say you want to translate this okay you just cut this off just cut this just cut this and then you just do a dollar sign make sure it's template first just do away client dot translate and then just put in the string put in the message and then comma message that's all you need to do to translate so let me just show you real quick okay you just need this to translate the message um, let me just show you why set lang french language that we set to french so I do y ping so it, change, it changes the message to French in this section because um, I already did this right here. So um, let me just create a command to show you how actually exactly how this works. I'm just going to create a random command. Let's just say hello, my friend. Okay. Cons, cons, yeah, wait, you don't need that actually. You just need the basic setup. And then uh, hello. Um, and then we're just going to do um, message.channel.send and then you're just going to translate it you're just going to put the text in English or just hello there my dear friend okay, let's make sure there's no typos and then comma message that's all then let's just, let me just show you this example real quick why hello just wait for it to load okay so when i run why hello you should send the text in french okay what's the error cannot send an empty message okay so just have to do a wait i forgot about the await because it's a promise Okay, just send it. Why hello? Bonjour, Manchira. So, all you need to do actually to translate a message to the set, the guilt's message, all you need to do is await client.translate. All you need to do is this, and then you just put in the text. The text will be here, and then message. Just put in message as your message parameter. Um, you can do it for any commands you want, any any section that you want to translate, like bang command, kick command, um, pull commands to translate to the needed language. So basically, you can do this without creating tons of, and tons of JSON objects. So yeah, I hope this video helps out. If you like this video, leave a like. Um, if you want more content from me, make sure to leave, uh, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. If you need any help, about this code or anything in general um, feel free to join the support server I re really gained some member recently so yeah um, see you again see you again on the next video bye